Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In India, I think uh, there are se several types of human rights violation issues, but we feel uh, that the torture, torture as defined by the United Nations Convention Against Torture, uh, that means torture perpetrated by the state agencies, it is uh, mother of all sorts of human rights violation. The people who are being kept in a police lockup or interaction center ha having no access outside world his or her relative, that is beyond imagination that how the person feels. In our police regulation of Bengal 1943, it is stated that in the police lockup, every person should have six feet by six feet space. But Actually, what we have seen, observed in our state and not in only in our state, all over the country, that uh, people, uh, the, sometimes uh, the arrested people in a police lockup, they cannot get space to sit. And in the uh, summer, there is no fan and even no drinking water. If someone asks drinking water to sentiment, then they have to pay. So money people, they have no problem to get water or anything, even wine. But the uh, people have not. Uh, they cannot get and in West Bengal we have several instances our fact-finding report is there lost complaint that people died not due to torture but due to suffocation mm. want of water uh, they passed away they died uh, so torture or inhuman, degrading treatment upon the prisoners, it is, it is continuing from British colonial system. And our all sorts of government, red, white, blue, Tiranga, uh, everybody came to the power and they decided not to change the police system and I am sorry to say that even our judiciary in particular the lower judiciary they are not independent they are purely dependent upon the police and administration and by this way our criminal justice system it should be and not it would be that they are from this system the people should get justice and our judicial system practically it is a platform it is a system to provide injustice it is the system we are maintaining so, uh, the influential people, now I want to specifically, I want to mention that the police, the military, the paramilitary force,
the railway police, the jail officials, in normal way, impunity is prevailing in our country in the judiciary. Though our constitution, Article 14, it is stated that equality before law, but in practice, all over India, you cannot get the judgment, the punishment to the police authorities. Normally, it is everywhere. If you can get someone, it is only in one case. It is not in every each and every case. And who are the victims? Who are the victims of torture? All these people in Marxist analysis, they are proletariat. In social scientist analytical way, they are marginalized. They are Dalits. They are religious minority Muslim. They are tribal people. They are living in the Santis, Juggis. In the uh, villages, they are agrarian laborer having no land. So these are the people and they don't have any access to the lawyer. Okay. We are trying to provide legal support to these people. Only in 2013, um, more than 500 people who were languishing in jail, large section of this number, they were arrested in bailable section. It was the duty of the court to grant them bail. Unfortunately, our holy cow judiciary, they thought that it is not their duty. We provide it and it is uh, those people uh, who get out um, from the prison mm -hmm. in some petty matters. Mm -hmm. Even we have the documents where people don't have authority to arrest that person in a particular section. Those people who are arrested taken before the, uh, produced before the court, then and there it was the duty of the court, you cannot arrest this person in this section. Court did not do this and was sent to prison. We had cases only for 100 rupees, bail was granted by the court. One year back, 100 rupees bail. That person did not provide 100 rupees you know, bail 100 rupees means it is, is varies from court to court. Mm -hmm. Generally, 10 to 15 percent you have to pay to the security. Mm -hmm. So, 100 rupees bail means 10 rupees to 15 rupees the accused, mm -hmm. quote unquote accused, has to pay to the security. Mm -hmm. 10, 15 rupees he does not have. And he was uh, in the prison for one year. We manage this and we will. So it is the system. It is very, very rotten system. Um, so we are working on this area. Uh, providing medical support, treatment to the uh, victims. Yes. The system. the system is the one that is to blame and that's what you're trying to work with. You're trying to uh, give sort of medical support, legal aid to the yes. people who are victims of the system. Practically day before yesterday, mm. today is Tuesday. Mm. Sunday we have, uh, we have to give some medical support, a young 
boy who is still seven pieces of pellets in his body, in head, cheek, uh, ear, throat, uh, some pellets are there, BSF fired, some pellets are there, are there. Uh, and he is, uh, you know, some paralysis is mm. going on, cannot move his hand and pain uh, at head. Mm. So we are uh, trying to give this uh, also some uh, psychiatric uh, treatment, uh, counseling. We are trying. To, we have some good friends. We are trying to provide this. So why, uh, why did the BSF fire at this point? BSF fired all times in each and every case. More than two thousand times uh, we have recorded. They fired upon the people. Uh, each and every case, BSF fired according to their statement uh, for self-defense and what they produced before the local police station that they seized one hasua or sickle or one lati, a stick and it is proved that by this way that quote-unquote miscreant or accused trying to kill him and for self-defense, he fired and our fact-finding report in almost all the cases we have sold with evidence, with witnesses that the BSF person fired when that quote-unquote offending person or accused was minimum 500 years or 600 years away. So by sickle he was saying seeing that he is with a very sophisticated SLR uh, mm. ammunition, arms uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, you're saying that uh, this, this is especially affecting uh, border, areas. Uh, uh, border areas and the people, uh, the people who are Dalits, who are uh, Muslims and why are these sections targeted? Why do you think these sections are the sections which are targeted? It is, and it is, you know, BSF is more or less very, very corrupt force. Very, very corrupt. Mm -hmm. It is much more corrupt than our judiciary, much more corrupt than our police. Mm -hmm. Every day throughout these 2000, 42 kilometer West Bengal Bangladesh border hmm. people from India or people from Bangladesh hmm. they are coming and going every day from each every part hmm. how they are coming uh, they are bribing the BSF hmm. and they are the BGB border guard Bangladesh <laughs> and by this way this smuggling also going on, mm. cow going on, mm. buffaloes going on, fancy deal going on, mm -hmm. heroin is coming, many things it is going on in the border, it is regular, mm -hmm. it is going on. I am taking bribe mm. and posted, I am BSF, mm. I am posting in a particular OP, outpost. Mm. It is OP number one, mm. but OP number two, the BSF is not paid. <laughs> when BSF uh, posted at OP number 2, he did not get his share. You can understand what is. Mm. And the cows from West Bengal to Bangladesh, mm. which is going mm. to uh, smuggling, mm. you will find everywhere mm. the cows are coming from Northern India, mm. Haryana, Punjab, even Bhagalpur, okay. four feet, five feet, it is cow, uh, one size. And our West Bengal cow, it is very small, mm -hmm. little, it is not going there. Mm -hmm. Generally, it is not going there. Balls are coming. Mm -hmm. All the state police, mm -hmm. all the district police, SP, all the GRP, RPF, it is chain, mm -hmm. silk route, mm -hmm. it is coming. 
and everyone is everyone knows everything mm -hmm. it is not that uh, it is only one point it is going mm -hmm. everywhere it is going mm -hmm. so it is very corrupt mm -hmm. crores of rupees crores crores of rupees mm -hmm. all officials are involved mm -hmm. it is not only bsf it is also police mm -hmm. it is also ministers mm -hmm. it is going on but firing at the end mm. when crossing the border mm. it is one one muslim boy mm. or one dalit boy mm. one tribal boy mm. coat and coat marginalized mm. having no access to livelihood mm. only for 100 rupees mm. he is taking one cow mm. crossing the border mm. and got fired <laughs> it is the case and everywhere it is the case in assam border it is the case in tripura border it is the case in kuchbihar border it is the case in hingalganj sundarbon it is the case everywhere it is going on no is the smuggling are these dalits or uh, muslims do they do they run the smuggling or are they just working for someone else no they are huh. the like cowboy hmm. kingpin never throughout killing hmm. they were never been arrested hmm. it is the person only to carry and cross the border <laughs> for 100 baht he is being killed and in border border area you know border area in bangladesh also i have visited bangladesh border area mm -hmm. in bangladesh also in that part all the people they are have nots mostly half have nots they, have they not, don't so. have any money okay, okay, okay. even some they don't have any roof mm -hmm. they don't have any toilet they don't have any drinking water okay. there is no electricity most of the area okay. so how uh, those people and they are every day they are migrated every day they are migrated leaving their place so just earn money 100 rupees or 200 rupees your 100 fishermen okay okay in the river podda ganga ichamoti mm. they are catching fish okay they all are civil cast mm. dalit okay and they are being killed mm. for uh, this uh, fencing mm. you know india bangladesh border mm. fencing has been erected mm. it is the law mm. that ibp international border pillar Hundred fifty years, mm. there will be no construction. Okay. But after one fifty years, mm. you can get uh, erect construction. So fencing should be one fifty years from the IBP actual border line. Mm. Here in West Bengal, you will find about five kilometers, ten kilometers. We have cases twenty five kilometers inside the. indian territory mm -hmm. so people having land within this 25 km or 5 km they have to go to their land for cultivation okay and cultivation means in the morning you have to go to plow or to give water mm -hmm. and bsf will allow people to go they will open the gate fencing gate mm -hmm. from morning 8 to 9 mm -hmm. and in this in the past land from ibp to fencing hmm. there are some houses who are living oh. and they have no protection oh. any time bangladeshi goons are coming and you know looting or anything is going on we have cases where the pregnant woman asking hmm. serious case hmm. uh, immediate delivery is needed hmm. time is not eight so delivery uh, is not possible to move her to the hospital even the snake bite snake has to bite within eight to nine 
No, no, not no laughing. It no, is, yeah, it's it very is, serious. It is the reality. Yeah, yeah. And we the people, we know many things. We the people, we know many things about Kashmir, many things about Hyderabad or Maoist or anything. You know. But these millions of people living in the border area, we are just we don't ignored. Know. Yeah. It is ignored. Yeah, they uh, don't have any right to life. Okay, okay. Uh, beyond the question of uh, the uh, right to life and everything, for, for instance, when a particular community is being uh, continuously criminalized, for instance, just being arrested, how does it, it affect that community in the sense that, oh, you'll say everyone is a criminal? Uh, every Like, for instance, if you take the upper caste, they'll all, always be like uh, gentlemanly but then when a community is continuously being treated as criminals by the state you're naming a community also as criminals you will be like this so how does that affect them for instance uh, towards education towards mobility as such towards that community the border areas there is very little chances of mobility hmm. no no it's mobility in the sense education in that sense even that it's I very difficult it's very no difficult. very difficult Mm -hmm. We are running um, one school also okay. in a Chor area, okay. you know, Chor means island so, in the Podda. Yeah, yeah. Every year Podda, river, erosion is going on. Mm -hmm. Chor area, more than only one block and one part, more than 35,000 people are living. So we are working in those areas okay. and we are running, not we are running, mm -hmm. uh, we are providing support mm -hmm. to run one school mm -hmm. and it is going on. It is, it is name of Madrasa, okay, okay, Madrasa. but uh, they are all the, uh, yeah, they are non-believer, <laughs> but majority of the people, they are Muslims. Mm -hmm. They fond of name Madrasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so well, you can do, you can do your own choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have any objection. So, what do you do in instances of torture or of BSF firing, killing? What, what, what do you do? Uh, we are lodging complaint to HRI, Human Rights Institution, National, mainly our West Bengal uh, Human Rights Commission. It died many years back. So now we are lodging complaint to National Human Rights Commission. Mm -hmm. Few cases to Women Commission mm -hmm. or Civil Civil Rights Commission. They are also not working. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, each and every case we are uh, taking those cases to UN bodies like UN Special Rapporteur on Torture. UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Execution, mm -hmm. uh, CRC, Child Rights Committee, like this way, VAW, Violence Against Women, mm -hmm. like this way, we are exploring UN bodies. In few cases, we got very, um, very successful uh, intervention. Uh, in many cases, we failed. What will a successful UN intervention be like? What can UN do? Uh, there is one, uh, we just tried, we got some money and make it published mm -hmm. with one organization called Redress. Mm -hmm. We submitted a complaint a book that it is a, not a single incident, it is a systematic failure uh, to the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture and uh, we got information that they asked report from Government of India and Government of India means the ambassador at UN and automatically they asked report